today we are going to create this scene in blender using geometry nodes and as always the blender file is in the description below so without any further ado let's get started so first we are going to scatter grass using geometry nodes so i will sacrifice the default cube and then press shift a and add a plane then press s10 on the keyboard to scale it up then set up your camera and press N and select this low camera to view option to change the camera positions easily. Then I will go to this geometry nodes tab and join these two screens because we don't need that one. And click on new. And you can see it's a modifier and it's completely undestructive. You can also change the name if you want. So right now we have two nodes. So I will press shift A and search for distribute points on faces node. And you can see these points have appeared on screen, but our plane is gone. So again, press Shift A and search for Join Geometry Node. Place it on the line and also connect Group Input with Join Geometry, and our plane is back. So then, add an instance on Points Node, and this node will scatter our grass asset on the plane. But right now, it's not scattering anything because we don't have any assets. So I will add some grass assets from this Max Tree Pack which is completely free and I'll put a link to it in the description below and if you want to see the full guide you can watch this video of mine so I will double click to open any of these files press ctrl c to copy this asset and then paste it into your project file and I have seen some people had an issue with the materials but as you can see I don't seem to have any of these so just like this, I have added three more assets from this Max Tree Pack, which I am going to scatter. And I've also placed them in a collection. So go back to the Geometry Nodes tab, grab this collection and place it here. Connect Instance to Instance and now you can see the grass has been scattered like this. Solve this, just click on Separate Children and Reset Children and also check Pick Instance. And now it's fine. You may have noticed that if you click on any other object, the geo nodes disappear. But if you click on this pin icon, it won't disappear now. So now you can see some repetition going on. So for this, add a random value node. And before connecting, change it to vector and then connect it to rotation. And it's looking crazy right now. So under max section, change the x and y axis value to zero because we don't want to rotate in those axes. And also we want a 360 degree rotation on Z axis. But this node only accepts values in radians. And 1 degree is 57.295 radians. And yes, there is mathematics in Blender. You should have taken your classes more seriously. So instead of writing 360, I will write tau in here which is equal to 6.283 which is equal to 360 degrees. Of course, you won't see this randomness in case of grass, but if it were other objects like stone or rock, you'll see some randomization going on. So the grass is incredibly small right now, so I will add another random value node. And this time, don't change it over to vector, keep it on float. And connect it to scale. And since the minimum scale value is zero, we are seeing this extremely small grass which is barely visible but still taking all the geometry information and we don't want that. So change the minimum scale value to anything except 0 and also change the maximum scale value. Play around with these values and see what works best for you. You can also increase the density and you will see some clipping. Obviously it's good in case of grass but anyways if you want to prevent clipping just change it from random to Poisson disk. I hope I got that right. Anyways, now we have two more options which are distance minimum and density factor. You can change the density from density factor and by increasing distance minimum you reduce clipping. But you will also see a decrease in density which means you will have to compromise on density in order to reduce clipping. And also there is no clipping proof value, there is always going to be some clipping. So I will change it back to zero. And if you take this density node and plug it into group input you can see now you can change the density from modifier menu and you can also put the rotation and scale node or any other node that you want and we have two max values here 
which can be a bit confusing so press N to get this menu and go to the group section. Click on this max and change its name to rotation max and this one to scale max and there you go. So in order to make this kind of scene there are two ways that you can follow. The first one is the weight painting. So for that go to edit mode by pressing tab and then right click and select subdivide and from this drop down menu add 50 or 100 cuts then go to weight paint mode and if you paint on the plane you can see that a new vertex group has been created you can also change its name then paint on both sides and leave a path in the center drop the weight of the brush to zero to erase the paint Once you are done, go back to geometry notes section and instead of density max, plug in density factor. And then click on the spreadsheet icon and choose your vertex group that you just created. And you can see it has removed the grass from the center but not completely there are still some patches in the center. And even if you tweak some settings, it's not very ideal. So I will use the second method which is by going to edit mode and selecting the middle vertices turning on the proportional editing and move this area down on z-axis then go to the sculpting mode and add some details using clay brush and once you are done add another plane on top and scale it up like this then I will add a sunlight and increase its strength to 30 and also choose a warmer color and now comes the texturing part so go to the shader editor click on principal bsdf and press ctrl shift t and select your texture i will use this texture from polyheaven but you can use any texture that you want then go to the material properties and scroll down until you find settings and under surface change it to displacement and bump and it's looking crazy right now so decrease the displacement height to something like 0.02 I will also change the scale value to 7 on x and y axis in mapping node now just like this add a different shader to this plane then I have a 3d model of ethereum logo and I have added a gold material to it Then I have these dead leaves which I will scatter on the second plane using geo nodes. It's pretty simple, just click on the plane, add a geometry node modifier to it and select the node system that we just created. Click on this button to make a copy of it and uncheck pin and under collection choose your asset. Click on plane and press ctrl A to apply the scale transform. And then you can play around with the settings as usual. And with the grass, it looks something like this. Obviously, we will add some more assets because right now it's looking miserable as my life. So then I will add a character to the scene. If you want this astronaut character, you can watch this video of mine, which has the full guide for downloading, texturing, and rigging this character. Right now the scene is kinda empty, so I will scatter some foliage. Again from Max Tree Pack. There isn't a nature scene without any trees, so I will add a tree and duplicate it a few times. Make sure to press Alt D instead of Shift D for duplicating because these are high quality assets and they can make your viewport a bit laggy. So press Alt D for duplicating and rotate them to create some randomization. I haven't placed any tree directly in front of the light because I want the light to focus on our character. Just like this. To create an illusion of a forest in the background, I will add an image as a plane of a forest. And now the only thing remaining is volumetrics. So for that, add a cube, scale it up so it covers the whole scene, then change its viewport visibility to wired, and then go to shader editor click on new delete the principal bsdf and add a principal volume or volume scatter 
it doesn't matter. Decrease the density and also choose a warmer color. Play around with the density value and see what works best for you. And we are done. And here is our final render. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to my channel and then I'll see you guys in the next video.